Nicole Bircher is 52 years old and a successful businesswoman. She has two adult children and is also quite active outside working hours. Lately, however, she has been feeling increasingly uncomfortable in her own skin. Mm -hmm. She visits her GP and tells him about her increasing incontinence. It happens during physical activity, such as, for example, when she coughs, laughs, goes jogging or climbs stairs. Mrs. Bircher has tried pelvic floor exercises, but this has not had any lasting effect. The doctor recommends that Mrs. Bircher sees a urologist for a further evaluation. He refers her to Euroviva Bulach, where Dr. Reichert has an incontinence clinic. In the initial consultation, Dr. Reichert obtains a general idea about her patient's condition. Und wenn der Handrang kommt, müssen Sie dann schnell laufen oder haben Sie Zeit? Der muss ich sehr schnell machen. Wir werden zunächst erstmal einen Ultraschall machen von den Nieren und von der Blase. Dr. Reichert suggests that her patient has a urogynecological examination in order to establish in detail what type of incontinence is involved. Until then, Mrs. Bircher is asked to keep a so-called bladder diary. She should enter how much she drinks, how often and when she visits the toilet, and whether incontinence occurs. Based on this information, Dr. Reichert can make a diagnosis about the type of incontinence and decide on options for treatment. About a week later, Mrs. Bircher is back at Euroviva for her urodynamic examination. Her bladder pressure will be measured to check the function of the bladder and its closure mechanism. Mrs. Bircher is suffering from stress incontinence. The problem can be explained as follows. The urethra is held by a supporting structure of ligaments and muscle fibers. Over the course of a lifetime, these structures get thinner or may be severely damaged, for example during childbirth. With a sudden increase in abdominal pressure, this results in the urethra being pushed downwards. Then the closure mechanism is unable to close properly and this results in a leakage of urine. Also, das haben sie es geschafft, aber das hat sich gelohnt, weil wir haben herausgefunden, dass sie eine reine Belastungsinkontinenz haben. Das heißt, sie verlieren wirklich nur Urin beim Husten, Niesen, Lachen. Das ist etwas, was man mit Medikamenten nicht behandeln kann, nicht gut. Ja, dann ist es besser, man macht einen kleinen Eingriff und das ist auch das, was ich Ihnen empfehlen würde. Dr. Reichert proposes a TVT operation. TVT stands for Tension-Free Vaginal Tape. Continence can be restored using a plastic tape, which is placed under the urethra. Mrs. Bircher agrees to the procedure and makes an appointment with Dr. Reichert then and there. A short while later, she receives confirmation of the operation from Euroviva. Although she's a little nervous, she's also relieved that the problem is now going to be actively addressed. Bircher? Ja, grüezi Frau Bircher, da ist Avedik von der Euroviva, Patient Relation. Grüezi Frau Avedik. Mrs. Bircher is privately insured, so she can take full advantage of the hospital conveniences before the procedure. The day before admission, she is contacted by Euroviva Patient Relations. Mrs. Avedik makes note of the patient's special requests and answers her final questions. Dann erwarten wir Sie morgen um halb acht und ich wünsche Ihnen einen ganz schönen Abend. So two weeks after her examination, Mrs. Bircher checks into the Euroviva clinic. She's given a warm welcome and taken immediately to her room, where she's able to use the internal Wi-Fi to carry out a few jobs. My name is Neuer, I'm a narcosearzt from Mon. I would like to talk to you about a narcosearzt. Can I sit with you? Yes, please. Shortly afterwards, the anesthesiologist arrives to discuss his role in the operation with his patient. Mrs. Bircher had had a bad experience with the anesthetic during a previous hospital stay. Can I go? Yeah, I have a headache and a headache. 
so it puts her mind at rest to be able to discuss the proposed operation calmly with Dr. Neuer. Of course, there is enough time to clarify all her questions and resolve her worries. The next morning, Mrs. Bircher is taken to the operating theater, where she's looked after by Dr. Reichert and an experienced surgical team. During the TVT procedure, a tape is inserted under the urethra through a small incision in the vagina and two small incisions above the pubic area. This tape replaces the defective natural structures. It acts like a hammock and catches the urethra when it's under stress. In 90% of cases, long-term continence is achieved through this permanent support of the urethra. Within a short time, Mrs. Birke is back in the recovery room, where she will be cared for and monitored. Just a few minutes after the operation, she's conscious again, and shortly after that, she's able to return to her own room. Back in her room, she orders a delicious meal from the Euroviva restaurant and enjoys the peaceful evening. She's allowed to go home again two days later, after a short recovery period.